Welcome pre-cal students to class today. Um, it's going to be a great year. It's my honor and privilege to teach you guys this year. And I really look forward to getting into the pre-calculus topics that we'll look at this year. Pre-cal is a lot of fun. It's a difficult class, um, but it's a lot of fun to teach. And it's also a lot of fun to learn, too. So uh, welcome to class today. And I know it's going to be a great year. I want to start off, um, excuse me, <clears throat> I want to start off by explaining some things about pre-cal that you really need to know. First of all, pre-cal is unlike any other math class that you've had or will have in high school. So please uh, understand that right at the beginning here. Um, it's a very unusual class. First of all, pre-cal is supposed to be taught in such a way that it's a very challenging class. Okay? Um, now hopefully, um, it's not going to be challenging because of uh, poor teaching. I hope that's not part of the, the challenge. Um, but there's really two ways in, in which the pre-calculus class is going to be challenging, okay? And, and let me pause now and say this. I am going to need you guys to take some notes today throughout the class period. So uh, right now while I'm talking, go ahead and get out your notebooks um, and pencil, something to write with. You will not... Uh, right now need your textbook and you will not right now need your calculators or anything like that but you will need your notebook um, to take some notes and you will need a pen or pencil to take notes with and I will tell you when you need to write something down okay and so far there's really nothing for you to write down um, but this class will be challenging in a couple of different ways first it is challenging because the math is challenging it is not easy now don't let this scare you just be ready to work hard the math is not easy to understand you will have to do the, uh, the homework you will have to practice in order to understand the math second it is challenging because of the speed that we go listen remember this is like an honors class it is meant to really push students my goal for you and my goal for the students that I taught at Tennessee Temple Academy and my goal for the students that I taught last year in a video pre-cal homeschool class was to make sure students can leave this class and go into Calculus 1 in college, okay? This class is meant to really push students. Again, don't be scared. Just accept the fact that you really have to work hard. You might get an A. You might not. You might have a 4.0, and I hope this doesn't happen, but you might have a 4.0, and this is the one class you don't get an A in. Uh, that could happen. Hopefully it won't, okay, if you have a 4.0. Um, but all that you can do is the best that you can do. So be ready to work hard and be ready to uh, do the best that you can do. All right. Feel free to contact me as often as you need to. I'm getting paid to teach this class. Okay. I get annoyed when students don't ask questions. Um, so please ask questions. My email is M Earhart. That stands for Mike Earhart. M Earhart at BereanAcademy.net. There are some items I need, uh, I need you to have in class with you every day. Please have these items every day. Let me go back a page, by the way. I should have um, uh, told you this. Go ahead and write down my email if you did not. Please copy that down. M. Earhart at BereanAcademy.net. Okay? M. Earhart at BereanAcademy.net. Let me continue on. Now, there, there are some items, some tools that you need to have in class with you every day. Would you please copy these in your notes? Please copy this down. You need to have your textbook every day. Don't leave it in your locker. Don't leave it at your house. Bring your textbook every day. Number two, bring your notebook for notes. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. This notebook might be a three ring binder it might be a spiral bound notebook I have no preference in what kind of notebook that you have but make sure that you have plenty of paper to take notes and make sure that you have a notebook I have no problem accepting homework that has been ripped out of a spiral bound notebook that does not bother me okay so make sure you have a notebook to take notes in whether it be a three ring binder or a spiral bound notebook you need to have pencils every day now you can take notes in pen 
or pencils that's totally up to you but your homework and your tests and your quizzes need to be taken in pencil okay so make sure you have plenty of pencils every day bring your calculator every day it, it would be really really helpful if you have a graphing calculator now due to the fact that they are pretty expensive you do not have to have one to take this class there will be some some test problems in which I might ask you to use a graphing calculator if you don't have one then you will not be required to do those problems but I feel like it's really important for your college education that you know how to use a graphing calculator um, a TI-83 or a TI-84 is what we'll probably use in this class okay so um, definitely if you don't have a graphing calculator make sure that you have a scientific calculator that has um, an exponential button sine cosine tangent um, square roots cube roots stuff like that okay if you have any questions on that um, call me or email me or, or have your parents do that okay all right let's continue on let's go ahead and get into how the videos will work please pay attention you are responsible for everything that I'm going to say about the videos take really good notes I will tell you when you need to write something down this next information um, students that I'm about ready to give you is really really important so please listen the first thing you need to learn is the name of the website from which you will access the videos for this class now if you are thinking um, that you were going to watch the videos in class you are right you are so why do you need to learn how to access the videos on your own well let me give you a couple of reasons first of all what if you miss class due to sickness or being out of town that could happen wouldn't it be nice to be able to go to your own computer at your house go to the correct web page and get the video to watch that would be a big help what if you need to watch the homework help video at night when you're doing your homework to be honest with you I um, consistently intentionally give you homework problems that are more challenging than the notes that I gave you in class and I do that so that you are um, doing the homework and checking your answers and getting help on your homework so probably every night you're gonna have to watch part of the homework help video on the problems that you're stuck on to get help so you need to be able to access these videos on your own from your own computer all right and another reason too that I didn't type here what if you have a substitute teacher one day and you need to help that teacher find the video it's important that everyone knows how to do this having given these reasons here is the website please write this down it's teach them just like it sounds teach e m teachem.com then a forward slash Brian pre -cal. no spaces teachem.com forward slash Brian pre -cal. now I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, what the website looks like if I can get this to work here hold on one second right, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy and paste this into a web browser okay I'm just waiting a second while you while you finish copying this down teachem.com forward slash Berean pre cal all right so I'm gonna go here to my Google Chrome hit paste enter <clears throat> and there's the web page okay now um notice so far your web page has four videos students understand at the end of the year we're going to have probably hundreds of videos on this web page it'll be filled up okay um, and so here's the web page that you go to all right everybody understand that if not pause the video um, ask your supervising teacher some questions talk to each other make sure that you understand this teachem.com forward slash Brian pre -cal. okay that is how you access the web page 
Okay, let's go back to the uh, MemeoPad notes here. So make sure you understand how to find the web page. Now, the next thing you need to know uh, how to do is to find a video. So please write this down. And this is wrong. It should say middle. So put at the m top middle of the screen. Okay, write this down. At the top middle of the screen is a search box you type in the name of the video that you want to watch. Let me say that again. Uh, copy this in your notes, please. At the top middle of the screen is a search box. You type in the name of the video that you want to watch. So here it is right here. Look at this. Here's the web page. Right here, you type in the name of the video right here. And then you hit enter, and the name of the video will pop up. All right, that's really important that you know how to do that, OK? Uh, so once again, at the top middle of the screen is a search box. Type in the name of the video that you want to watch. Okay, please copy that in your notes. All right, now let's quickly review. You should be able to go to the correct website on your own. And of course, the name of the web page is teachem.com forward, forward space, excuse me, Brian Precal. Okay. And you also should be able to search for a video. And of course, we just talked about that. Once you go to the web page, at the top middle of the screen is a search box. And you type in the name of the video that you want to watch. Okay? All right, let's continue on. Now, here's the next question. You're probably saying to yourself, how will I know what video to type in the search box? I mean, what's the name of the video? Well, here's the answer. Please write this down. The name of the video will always be the date of that day. Isn't that simple? The name of the video will be the date of that day. So, for example, let's say you're home and you're sick on September 10th, okay? And you're really sad because you're you're missing pre-cal class. You're missing hearing Mr. Earhart's name. And so you go to the web page right here. And then you type into the search engine September 10th and hit enter and the video will pop up. Let me show you. Tomorrow's August 14th, correct? So August 14th, this is tomorrow's video. I typed in August 14th and now no, notice the two videos popped up. One is August 14th, which is the one you're looking for, and the one says August 14th homework. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about that later. But you were looking for the video called August 14th. There it is. Now you simply take your mouse, you click on the course right here, and the video pops up and you watch it. You can access it from anywhere in the world that you have internet access. Okay? So that's pretty cool and that's pretty easy. So again, let's review. You should be able to go to the web page. You should be able to go to the top middle of the page and type in a video and search for it. And now you should know what the name of the video will be. It will be the date of that day. Okay, moving on. Here is a cool feature of this class that you might not have known about. With every homework assignment, there will be a homework help video. Now that's awesome. That means you do your homework, and let's say you have a question on numbers 1, 5, and 12. Then you go to the homework help video, and you fast forward the video to the problems that you have questions on, and you can watch how to work them out. That is huge in pre-calculus class. And let me tell you this, if you're not checking your odd answers in the back of the book, why would you, why would you not? How will you know if you're doing the homework correctly if you don't go to the back of the book and check the odd answers? And you might say, well, Mr. Earhart, what about the even problems? Well, that's where the video comes in. Let's say you want to check your answer for number 12. Then you go to the homework help video, fast forward to number 12, and then fast forward to the end of number 12 where the answer is, and then check your answer. So you check the odd answers in the back of the book, and you check your even answers with this homework help video. And that is such a nice feature to have. Okay, let's continue on. You are probably saying to yourself, self, 
how would I access this homework video? Well, that's a great question. I'm glad you've asked it. Let me explain how you will access the homework help video. Please write this down. The name of the homework help video will always be the date the homework was assigned plus the word homework. So let's go back to the web page. Let's say tomorrow, by the way, you're going to have homework. Tomorrow, August 14th, you will have a video to watch and you will have homework. So you get home at night and you need some help with your homework. Well, the homework was given the homework was given on August 14th. So you type in August 14th and then the word homework. August 14th homework and then hit enter. And there's the video. And then you click on that and all of the problems will be worked out for you. Okay? So that's a really big help and you need to use that every night on your homework and I'm telling you now I intentionally consistently give you plenty of homework problems that you're supposed to struggle with you're supposed to ask questions on and you're supposed to watch the video and get help that's what this class is all about is challenging you and hopefully um, teaching the material well will not be a problem but the homework is something you have to do all right okay let's continue on let me give you an example of what a homework help video will look like I just did that so we're okay there now let me quickly address the topic of homework you need to know I will be emailing and or calling parents every single night when homework is not turned in now that's just how I roll okay um, your parents are paying money for you to go to school I'm um, being paid to do a job and I'm going to communicate with your parents very well um, some teachers are maybe kind of look at parents as someone they're a little intimidated by for me parents are my number one tool that I can use okay they're there to help me and I'm here to help them and so I will be emailing and or calling parents every night when homework is not turned in don't skip homework period homework is where you make mistakes and then you check your answers you see that it's wrong you watch the homework help video so you learn from your mistakes and then you get practice and you practice 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 okay it's going to be a great school year i'm excited to be your teacher it's going to go really well this year let me close with quickly once again reviewing you should be able to go to the website now on your own uh, teachem.com forward space or forward slash bree and pre-cal you should know then to go to the top middle of the page and type in the video that you want to watch um, you should understand that what the video is always going to be that day's date so August 14th will be tomorrow's date um, and so um, you type that in you should also know the homework help video will always be the date the homework was assigned plus the word homework okay call or email if you have any questions at all and I uh, hope you guys have a good day and I know we're gonna have a good year in the class this year